Hello everyone. Today, we're stepping back in time to a sunny afternoon on July 17, 1955, a day that transformed Anaheim, California, into the happiest place on earth. Yes, the day Disneyland opened its magical doors to the world. When Walt Disney decided to create Disneyland, he envisaged a place where adults and children could have fun together. Walt's vision came from his own experiences as a father, accompanying his daughters to the merry-go-round at Griffith Park in Los Angeles. As he sat on the park bench, he dreamed of a place where families could have shared experiences and create memories. Did you know, this all started with a sketch on a piece of paper? An initial doodle by Walt in 1953 became the basis for the park's layout. The design underwent several revisions and finally transformed into a reality in 1955. The construction of Disneyland was a Herculean task, with builders racing against time to meet the deadline. In just one year, an orange grove was transformed into a magical kingdom. It was a massive undertaking involving more than 2,500 workers, working day and night. Finally, the day arrived. July 17, 1955, the official opening day, which was also known as the Black Sunday, due to the numerous mishaps. Despite the hiccups, this day marked the dawn of a new era in entertainment. 28,000 guests were invited, but double that number stormed the park due to counterfeit tickets. Celebrities like Frank Sinatra, Ronald Reagan, and Sammy Davis Jr. were present. Walt Disney officially opened the park with a heartfelt dedication that's still remembered today. This park had five unique lands, Main Street, USA, Tomorrowland, Frontierland, Adventureland, and Fantasyland. Each land was a blend of history, adventure, and fantasy, offering visitors an immersive experience unlike any other. From classic attractions like the Jungle Cruise in Adventureland, the Mark Twain Riverboat in Frontierland, to the Mad Tea Party in Fantasyland, Disneyland offered experiences that captivated both children and adults alike. Despite some opening day hitches, Disneyland quickly became an American institution, setting the standard for theme parks worldwide. Over the years, it has expanded and evolved but still retains the charm that makes it so unique. Walt Disney once said, Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. And indeed, Disneyland has grown, touching the lives of millions worldwide, and inspiring countless other theme parks. As we celebrate the anniversary of Disneyland's opening, we pay tribute to Walt Disney's vision that made this all possible. It was more than just the opening of a theme park, it was the realization of dreams, the creation of joy and lifelong memories. Thank you for joining me on this journey back to July 17, 1955. If you enjoyed this journey through history and want to discover more fascinating events every day, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep the magic alive.